The Ravens versus the Bengals ran a ton of counter with backside reads for the quarterback, mostly right to left, uh, a couple times left to right with the guard and the tackle pulling with so much happening on, on this play. And so many different designs and fluctuating personnel uh, formations. It's very difficult for a defense to defend this. In order to stop this play or be effective in defending this play, in my estimation, they're going to have to see it coming. That is to say the defense is going to have to predict this coming. Then they're going to have to execute perfectly because uh, you're dealing with what is essentially a triple option. And perhaps you'll hedge your bets and, and, and hope that the quarterback uh, doesn't make the ideal read. Uh, on the other hand, when the quarterback is Lamar Jackson, he has the ability to make something out of nothing. Uh, it's very difficult to defend this. I believe this is the first offensive play. And we saw this a lot through the game. That is to say counter uh, right to left pulls, uh, but with a lot of different wrinkles. You, to begin with, on this play, you have this fly motion. I think this is Oliver coming across the formation from out being out wide. As it turns out, he runs a fade as the number two receiver. This route is intended to occupy this defender. Pull him away from the flat, calling this GT counter RPO Y swing. Uh, Mark is a bit of a wing here. He's going to swing to the flat. As Mark swings this to the flat, the quarterback is reading this defensive end. As I see it, there are two ways he can go with this. Probably to simplify things, he's thinking about it uh, in terms of Mark's route primarily here. That is first in the progression, if you will. If the defensive end uh, disappears with the swing route, then it's a quarterback keeper on the backside, and Lamar's just going to take off. We can see clearly here that Lamar is reading 94. The result will be the same if this guy decides to chase these pulls and chase the ball down the line. Lamar is still going to keep here. Again, to me, Mark is first in this progression. I don't think the give to the back is in play here. I want to talk about the offensive line. I'll consider Ricard part of the O-line here. Going to get 57. I th I'm very impressed by Zeitler and Moses. Watch how synced up they are in terms of their footwork here. Zeitler as the kickout guy. Note, note too, these down blocks change the line of scrimmage, ideally. Zeitler's going to try to get as flat as he can to the back ends uh, of his offensive linemen. So he's got sort of an uphill climb to the end man. He wants to get on that inside shoulder and just dish him out of there, which he does. And then you get Moses coming through. So you can see there's an opportunity here for uh, the ball to be given. Again, I don't think it's in the plans as it were for this particular play, but you can see what kind of pause and how much is going on here and how much is required of the defense. I suppose I would call these open pulls, these long pulls they're doing here, but the footwork's interesting. I'm calling on any coaches to give me a heads up on that. I'm not sure I've seen the Ravens pull in this way before this season. Somebody who's watched this let me know to extend that right foot and then drive off of it. Typically, even in this game coming left to right, I saw them just drive off of that, which I would call an open pull. I'm not sure what we would call this. Again, somebody who's hip to it, uh, give me a heads up on this footwork here.